from your standpoint, if right. you were to hire someone to help you with a virtual production project, let's just say you got a freelance gig and someone yeah. asked to hire it, who would you want to hire to help you with this? What skills would they want to have? Someone with a good, strong found uh, like background in the foundations of art in general, like either like a good DOP or something, because anyone can just learn the software, right? It, that's not that's not the major hurdle anymore because that that learning curve is not so much of a of a hurdle as it used to be. Before, like previously, like try to te try to get some sixty year old DOP to. Uh, and by DOP, I mean director of photography to learn how to render in V-Ray, like, good luck. You're, you're, you're going to have a bad time. But now you can kind of just show them like, hey, you can light your shots this way. And a 60 year old director of photography or filmmaker, they're going to have, you know, 50 plus years of experience making movies. They've got a good eye for composition. They've got a good eye for framing. They've got a good eye for lighting. You, you won't have to explain light to them at all. They're going to know what to do. And the software is just going to be there to help them out even more. What skills are employers looking for? Problem solving. Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. And I think problem solving and definitely a, a basic understanding, you know, especially if you're going into the cinema side of things, cinematic content creation, like, you know, understanding film, you know, film history, understanding, you know, the changes, like, you know, how we shoot things now is different from how we shot things 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So being able to track the evolution of, you know, camera work, lighting techniques, all that sort of stuff you know even things just un an understanding of coverage too and these are all things that, that tie in really deeply to not just like how much time you spend in the software and this is something that i talk to my students a lot about and every now and then i get disappointed when i hear like how much they actually do this but it's like media literacy in general right you know as creators especially creators that you know we're all sub inspired whether it's subconscious or not it's like it's really important to just watch stuff like, you know, what I what I usually do with films or television shows is like when I'm watching stuff, you know, the first time I just like to watch it as a viewer, as an audience member. And, you know, I will, especially if it's something bad, actually, like if, or it's something that I'm disappointed in, I'll watch it a second time from a really analytical point of view. And I'll try to understand, you know, why it doesn't work. Because a lot of times I've learned more from things like that than trying to explain the magic that's going on behind something that's like brilliant and like, you know, that's just transcendent, right? And I, I think, you know, learning to view things very analytically without spoiling fun, of course, of like experiencing something for the first time, but having that as a skill set and being able to understand like, you know, very specific to virtual, like filmmaking side of virtual production. Like if you see a setup or you see a lighting, like, you know, lighting that you really like in a shot, like pause the frame and like, try to think like, okay, where are they, how are they rigging this? Like, how is this actually working? A lot of what we do as part of our exercises too, is we, we take inspiration or literally direct reference and we try to do recreations. So we get an understanding of how all these asks, you know, how all these things come together, like, you know, in this, you know, like alchemy to make something magical, right? But one thing that I would definitely suggest is like, you know, it's good to know software and it's good to have innate artistic ability, but you also need to make sure that you're saturating yourself with content.